everyone today we will discuss one of the feature in sap where uh, you can configure your output type for the printout like if you are using a purchase order then you can configure a output type uh, to get the printout of that po because as you know that po is a legal document and we need to send the po to pdf to our vendors so that particular material will be delivered to our own premises so um, as you can see uh, i'll first go through a t code which is me23n which is used i mean uh, i can display the purchase order here so here you can see in the messages you can see the output type is already there so i have already configured one output type which is said neu okay so here you can see the many fields are there you must have seen these things uh, whenever you are um, working with the purchase order so i will tell you what are this uh, the significance of these fields okay so this is output type uh, so um, this is the description this is the print medium means uh, how you want to uh, want this uh, po to be to process this output type like if you want to take the print out of the po then you need to select the print out option okay so there are many options uh, like if you want to send directly the print uh, the uh, pdf of the printout of or your po to the vendor email id then you need to select external send okay so likewise you can see this partner is there because partner is the vendor and uh, here you can see uh, language is obviously english and you can see the data date and time so here this is very important so why it is important i'll show you just wait for a moment yeah so now you can see there are four types of dispatch time okay so first dispatch time is uh, send with periodical sh schedule jobs okay uh, if you select this option then whenever your po will be saved and ready to process you can schedule a batch job to send these po's to your vendor okay so this is used for uh, shed, uh, schedule uh, the, to get the output of the po from the schedule jobs and if you go to second option this is send with job with additional time specification uh, you can go to third option that is send with application own transaction means if you select this option then you can you need to go to a, another t code which is me9f okay so from there you can take the printout or save the PO in your desktop okay so here is another option this is send immediately so send immediately is uh, used wherever uh, you want to guide your system that whenever you going you are going to save the PO so immediately immediately the PO should be sent to your vendor okay so or you want a printout option to be pop up in your systems then you need to use this option okay so uh, whenever there is an uh, this option is selected okay four and you can see here uh, the your uh, uh, medium is external send so we need to do some background uh, configuration as well to send this po to our vendor so once uh, this po is released so automatically the system will uh, shoot a mail to a vendor email id and where from where the email id got fetched is from vendor master okay so uh, this is uh, this is about this uh, message output type and i will also let you know about some configuration from where we get this output type automatically when whenever we create this po so i'll tell you about that also so for that we need to go to a t code which is n a c e NACE okay NACE so here you can see there are many applications like if you talk about purchasing uh, RFQ purchase order purchase schedule agreement release entry sheet means there are different different applications and according to that applications we can configure the output type okay so if we go to uh, purchase orders okay because we need to configure the purchase order output type so we need to go to this option and we need to go to output type uh, just wait for a moment it is hanging from my side just wait
okay so i'm just clicking on the output types so as you can see here there are many output types already defined for the po purpose and you can get the this is the standard output type which is already there in the system uh, if you are not configured your system then only this uh, uh, output type is present in the, your system and as you as you go below scroll it little bit down so you can see here znu which is created by me okay so you have need to select in, to this and double click on it okay so once you double click on it you will come to know what are the programs which is associated with this output type so there is some programs there are some form routines okay so these are there and as you can see here access sequence is also there so access sequence is basically uh, which is uh, we can define as a condition record uh, the parameters are document type purchase org and vendor okay so once these three parameters will uh, be defined in a condition record then this particular output type will be fetched we can configure it okay so here you can see the default values if you want to make the output default by default will come to your PO then you need to select this options and you can see here the dispatch time is there so this is selected as send immediate immediately okay and you can see also the transmission medium this is print out so you can select it external send also if you want to send directly uh, the, the email to the vendor and uh, there is a partner function which is VN which is vendor and there's a communication strategy which is cs01 okay so here um, there are many options here okay now uh, if you go to processing routines okay this is also very important here in the configuration because uh, how will you uh, attach one pdf form uh, to this output type because output type is just a, a object okay so uh, we need to fetch the from this object we need to fetch a pdf or a smart form smart form is known as uh, like if you want uh, what is the layout of the printout okay so all uh, all is defined in the smart form form okay so earlier in the older days uh, means around 20 20 years ago there are scripts are used in but now uh, the smart forms are used in day to day life okay so smart form will be created okay by a wrapper uh, of course uh, functional specifications will be provided by functional consultants and then we need to provide this pdf form smart form uh, here okay so these are some routines which are uh, responsible to fetch this pdf uh, to uh, means to assign this pdf to a particular output type okay so these are some uh, configurations which uh, which is uh, collectively done by a functional consultant and a web consultant okay technical consultant so uh, we go back so these are uh, some configurations which is associated with the output type now uh, if you want to provide some access sequences then you need to define it here okay So as you can see, there are two type of access sequences. Uh, you can provide some other access sequences as well. And you can uh, get uh, this assigned to that part I have shown you earlier. Okay, now we will go to condition records. Here we will maintain some condition record. Accordingly, uh, this output type will be fetched in the PO. Okay, so once you go to ZNU, you need to double click on it. So as you can see here, there are three options, means three, uh, uh, three combinations uh, via which you can fetch your output type in the PO, okay? So first one is purchase output determination, purchasing output determination, purchase org vendor for EDI, okay? The second option is purchasing output determination, document type, purchase org and vendor, okay? And third is purchasing output determination with document type. Now, uh, the first one which is purchasing output determination purchase or and vendor for EDI means if you provide a purchase organization and vendor then this if you maintain the your condition record in this first 
uh, first uh, uh, stage then uh, this will fetch the details according to these parameters selection parameters uh, now we, uh, ma majorly we use this because it has one of one more uh, criteria to be added which is document type so document type purchase org and vendor these three criteria uh, whenever these three criteria are matched then this output type will be fetched to the PO. okay so we will click here so as you can see here the purchasing doc types uh, it is asking for the purchasing doc types so if you have more than one purchasing doc types like nb is for standard fo is for framework purchase order so you can provide it here like i am providing nb okay and purchasing organization when b001 which we ha uh, i have okay and we can i can provide any vendor name which will be uh, which I want to configure with this combinations. So I have one vendor only, so I'll just execute. So this condition record is very important because uh, we can fetch this output type if we have uh, different different purchase uh, print out print uh, print layout. Like if uh, we have standard for standard purchase order, we have certain print. Uh, layout for the printout and for uh, framework purchase order i have some certain and for import purchase order i have some other uh, printout then i need to define here the document types like for uh, nb i am providing uh, znu document uh, output type because we need to provide different uh, output types for each type of uh, layout okay so here i have only one layout so i am providing this shopper as a vendor and vn as a function partner as a shopper medium as we need to uh, get a printout so i need to provide one if you want to send it to your vendor directly then you need to select five external send okay and as you can see here this date and time this is very important because it will suggest whether you want uh, this printout to be executed or your document uh, your printout to be fetched uh, whenever we, what is what is the scenario for which you you want to get the printout okay so here you can select anything from these options and obviously the language will be english if you are working with the multiple uh, various various countries of the, where their uh, local languages will be provided in the pre printout then you can provide a language as well okay so you need to save so that's it these are the configuration which is uh, important to configure your output type for taking printout or fetching the output output type in the po uh, hope uh, you enjoyed this video and uh, thank you for watching and uh, please like and subscribe and share i'm uh, I'll, I'll be uh, coming with more videos like that in the future so thank you uh, thank you for watching. Have a nice day.